my soul long disappear Traveled so long on this journey, now I'm here Had this vision in my mind for so long, for years Feeling so strong, perfect picture clear But I did it so wrong, and now I'm hurting, hence the tears The clutch is burnt out, can only go in certain gears And reverse is not an option, so I remove my wheel and let him steer Cause I've been driving down this wilderness road for so long Although I thought I was so strong, <laughs> and the inevitable prolonged and life is like a dance, so I hit repeat on a slow song Cause I didn't want it to end Since I can fool most of y'all, I walk around and pretend But never will I low on my chin He told me to hold on to my second chance This time, do it to win Cause everything Hi, my name is Michelle Mims Duchamp I'm the founder of TheTestimonyTube.com and today, you will be able to experience with me our first test movie. Now, test movies are dramatizations of a real person's testimony, which they themselves narrate. Now, today, I will be sharing my personal testimony. This testimony pertains to abortion. And it'll show the fears that I had, as many young women do, in bringing another child into the world when you're already struggling with children or you're struggling with no child support or no help from the father. Um, and the fears I had of, I did have fears of having more than one baby daddy and just how the world looked at me as a person. In this scene, I was in my mid-20s. Uh, I was at home. I was in school, I was going to school to get my degree in electronics engineering. Uh, I was in my last year of school. <laughs> I thought I had it together, but as life does, it throws you a curveball. Let's watch. God, I don't know which way to go, which way to turn. So many options, God. I just need you. I need you. I need you, I need you to show up, God. I can't go. Father, see, I cannot do it, Lord. Jesus, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, God. Lord, I just can't do another baby right now. Girl, why are you paging me now? I'm on this early in the morning. I don't even want to tell you. Nina, go upstairs with your new cooking. Okay, mommy. What's going on? I'm pregnant. Pregnant? I know. I can't believe it. What? What are you going to do? I don't know. You know I already got two kids by my ex-husband. I never wanted to have two different fathers for my children. God. Just get an abortion. Gosh, you don't even understand. Understand what? I've done that before. God. I said I would never, never do that again. Look, girl. You only got one year left to school. One year. If that was me, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not having another baby. That's three kids. Do you hear that upstairs? You want to do that again? No. There's not even a guarantee that you and your dude's going to be together. So then what? You're going to be stuck with another baby and probably no help. Look, girl. Don't know man. Woman or woman with a whole lot of kids. That's gonna be three. I need you to think about that, Michelle. Like, really think about that. And just go do what you need to do. When you own the TDS, turn me, yeah, own the TDS, turn me, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Do you work at the hospital? Yeah, I work upstairs at the nurse's station. I thought I saw you there. Yeah, I see you too. Girl, I do not want to do this. 
I don't want to do this either. But I don't feel like I have a choice. I have two kids with my ex. I haven't been with my boyfriend that long. And there is a no guarantee we're even going to be together. That's crazy. I had that exact same conversation with my friend. I also have two kids by my ex-husband. Well, Plus, I graduate next year from college. And I don't know if I'm going to be with my boyfriend either. Besides all of that, I just don't want to have a baby out of wedlock. I know exactly what you mean. Michelle, we're ready for you. Okay. Good luck. Okay. See you later. So many times I've gone against your will and I can't understand why you love me still. Because he loves you. So many times I've broken promises and I can't understand why I get another chance. Because he loves you. Even when I do the things that I know that are not gonna please you. Yeah. Grace and mercy, love and kindness covers me and always sees me through. I took my friend's advice. I was so afraid of how the world looked at me. <laughs> you know, another single black mother with more than one baby daddy. And as much as my gut was telling me that I was wrong, <sighs> you see, I had done it before, more than once. <laughs> but I couldn't tell my friend that, you know, she only knew I did it that one time. <sighs> And I'm so ashamed to say that I was more afraid of what the world thought of me than what God thought of me. But thank God he did think of me enough to give me another chance. Let's watch. me you pregnant again. Mm, I was not ready for her. Yeah. So what you gonna do? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? How can you not know? You know you got two kids you barely taking care of. I don't understand you young women today. You get with these niggas that ain't got a pot to piss in or window to throw it out of. You gap open and here you are stuck with a baby. Don't make no kind of sense. It's just all but it's stupid. But here's what you need to do. Make an appointment down there at that abortion clinic, okay? I'll give you the day off. You're just stupid. You're just stupid. I'll be driving. I'll be driving. Give me a name. What the? What? What? Oh, my goodness. What the? What the? What the? What? That's great. Wow. I remember those days. I mean, that lady was mean. I mean, have you ever met somebody who didn't have a filter, they just say anything to you? And for that to be my boss? You see, I was raised to respect adults. And to have somebody like that in my life was so unreal to me. I mean, none of the adults in my family never belittled me or talked crazy to me. So to me to have to deal with this, on a daily basis, Whew. now that was rough. And I was not ready to have that conversation with her. But let's watch and see how this all turned out.
in your court just rain just rain what are you asking of me right now what do you require from me right now if you say speak i'll open my mouth cause i'm your child yeah yeah Cause I dare to believe right now That you're God and you'll keep your vow Cause that's your style Say it like me yeah, 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 yeah. Your love is infallible And with you nothing's impossible yeah. And in you I am unstoppable <laughs> Remarkable yeah, just that I did not want to hear. But he did make me realize that if I really believe in him and that he can do anything but fail, then why was I not trusting him to help me? Oh, <laughs> and to top it all off, my son was born on my mother's birthday. Look at God. 
Well, I guess this is not where the story ends, but where it actually begins. You know, when you decide to really trust God, let me tell you, it will not be easy. But one thing is for certain, it will be well worth it. Well, we're back. This is my son's father, Thomas Brown, and my good friend. And we're here to shed some light on conflicts we had as a young couple. And these scenes will show you our conflicts. Mm -hmm. But outside of conflicts, you'll see that, as my grandmother used to say, out of Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for his good. Mm -hmm. And those that are called according to his purpose. And Thomas was definitely his purpose. Mm -hmm. Let's watch. Hello? Michelle, I'm on my way home from the club. Open the door. Okay. Speak in my mind I don't want you for the moment But for a lifetime So come up the stairs Swallow your pride We can take our time But I won't wait up all night There's only one night cap for me how many days gone by? I don't know why I try Waiting on you Waiting on you to call How many days gone by? Thinking about it in my mind Wondering why Taking your time Do I deserve it? Exactly what's been coming to me Is it worth it? Is it really real or not? Or not? Picture perfect Please answer. Please answer. 
glow. Hey Tanya, girl, I'm so sorry for calling you this early. I mean, it's just crazy over here. Girl, what is going on? It's Thomas. <sighs> he called me. He called me and said he's on his way from the club and he told me to unlock the door. and a chick answers the phone. Can you believe that? I told them to put Thomas on the phone. He had the nerve to tell me. The nerve to tell me that he was having drinks. You know I'm pissed off. You know ain't nothing open but legs after three. I'm so angry, I cannot stand him. I am a little tired. Care to join me? Or me? Or me? Michelle, calm down. That's not good for the baby. No, oh, you just get on my nerves. And I just need to find my mace. I just need to find it. Promise me, if he knocks on the door, do not let him in. You cannot be fighting him. Oh, I ain't gonna fight him. I got a plan. I'm gonna mace him, kick him between his legs, and push him down the stairs. But I cannot find my mace! Wow. <laughs> it's been 30 years and I still cannot believe you hung up on me. Yeah, that's what I all do to you. You're right about that. You know what? But let's watch it gets good. <laughs> For who? <laughs> let's watch. Michelle, please, please do not open that door. Just breathe. Just breathe. I'm not gonna open the door. He did just get some new clothes though. All right, new plan. I'll call you tomorrow. Promise me that you will not open that door. Okay, I promise. I'm not gonna open the door. Bye. Plan. Had it up to here with all your lies. Hit me dirty, all we give me dry. I ain't falling back again this time. Again, my you won't answer again. You've had it up to here with all my lies. I did you dirty, always bled you dry. I ain't falling back again this time. I'm a fool and I'm not trying to hide. Michelle, open the door. If I open the door right now, I will kill you! We're only having drinks. Open the door. I don't want to hear it. But hey, by the way, your clothes are downstairs. What? Your clothes are downstairs. Out back. Man, my shit better not be out back. Stop playing. You better not touch my shit, Michelle. <laughs> you welcome. Have a good day at work. <laughs> Come on. Oh, not my shit. Hey, Homer. Uh, and you repose in it? Yep. What dirty motherfucking Michelle? Ugh. <laughs> I was just having a drink. A drink? God damn. Say thank you. At least I got you the bag. Fuck you, Michelle. You will never get that chance again. Don't be mad. Look, I left you a bag for your trash with your trash ass. You know, it's all right. I'm a B.I. Right. Yeah. Sure. I'm a B.I. Right. Okay. I can't believe you was going to push me downstairs. <laughs> I know. And the mace. Yeah. 
I was more concerned about the stairs. Yeah, I bet. So you see, God was looking out for you that night and me because I could have caught a case. Definitely was. Mm -hmm. The blessing was timely. Yes, it was. I mean, we've been blessed. We have a wonderful time. Yeah, we are. We are proud of them. Yes, we have been blessed. We do have a good sign. But I do want to explain to the world the purpose for this movie. My purpose for this movie is to show the world what trusting God looks like and what can happen when you trust God. Now, when I started this movie, I didn't even know anything about the Roe versus Wade decision. It was overturned. I didn't even know. And since then, everybody's been trying to get me to say, are you for it? Are you against it? You know, Either way it goes, it's a no-win situation. Uh, if they do let women get abortion, there's going to be a lot of children, a lot of children losing their lives. If, if they don't, uh, there's going to be a lot of women who's going to get illegal abortions. So it's going to be a no-win situation. So my focus is not on the lawmakers. My focus is on that person who's going to make that decision instead of on that woman, the woman herself, just to let her know that there are other options. I know everybody doesn't trust God. They don't know God, but I do want you to know what trusting God looks like. And I do want you to see the blessing that Satan almost, almost talked me out of. Let's watch.
with in faith, I woulda had it I can see the people's hands raised Holy Spirit moving through the multitude As them hip hospital fans pray As the unsafe make way to the stage What is it I must do to be saved? And the word went for salvation came And the angels reaped on the kingdom's game Just a glimpse of my appointment Either line up or lose it I'm nothing without your anointing Please don't remove it I've been waiting for so long, Lord So let it rain Holding on to your promises, Lord You said it plain We order of those who diligently seek you Move mountains, get out my way Problems to speak to My ladder shall be greater than the former By faith I call it done, Lord Your word is a transformer In your life, <laughs> he finally did it, and you either blew it or you wasn't ready. But what God has for you, he has for you. <laughs> but it's up to you, you know, to get back in your rightful place. To get right back where God had you, where he has you, where he wants you. To receive what he has for you. He's a God of many chances. That's why I love him so 